What it is, yo? We back at it again. Episode 19. It is the Space City Brothers Podcast. Space City Walt. Dynamic Mercenary. Henny Pendergrass, aka Space City Tev. What am I looking for? I, I have no idea. So, uh. We're gonna jump right into it. E3 was this past weekend, past week? What, two weeks? No. We're, no. We're, just before that. Okay. So, I bought Astroneer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Space Minecraft. I I, have, I don't have it. 2 a.m. last night. I, it's, it's, I had a trial version. It's really good. I never went back and picked it up, though. I probably played it for about... Shit, if you got it, shit, I got, I got it, it, too. like, six. You got on Xbox or you got on, on PC. the... PC. Oh, fuck. It's a really annoying trying to use the controller. The controller's good for, like, if you if you dig a mine... Yeah. And then you have to, like, pick up a big piece of research because you can't walk the same way if you're, a ho- if you're holding something out to take it. So I use a controller to like go in and out of the mind, but most of the time I use PC. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I played it for hours, and I just had an audio book playing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's my new addiction. I should there. I got the help for uh, I got it for uh Xbox One. It's I I I got the trial version of it. And I was like, I've always meant to catch uh catch the game when it was on sale. <clears throat> Has it gone on sale? I think they, I need to wait for one of the indie sales or some shit. But I always meant to pick it up when it went back on sale. But that was pretty good. It is really good. It's still in pre-alpha. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. That played the game like two it's years not, ago. It's not pre-alpha. It's just in, uh, I think it's in alpha now. I played the game like two years ago. Well, That's how they get it's us. It's not done. They keep adding stuff. But it's only twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's sixty. No, it's not sixty. I was waiting for it to be good old ten. Ten on my cop. That's a good game. I don't think it's a twenty dollars game. Shit, Minecraft not even twenty dollars, is it? Uh, I don't know. I think it was. All right, so E three. E three was this past week. Well, actually. Or last weekend. I'm seeing the uh, the thing you said about before we started. Yeah, it's crazy, right? That's wild. As hell. A major rapper. Nah, that dude got killed. Bro, Mert. What the hell? Man, got got for his bag. He was caught slipping. Nice. Don't get caught slipping. That Y'all niggas need to stop posting shit to to Instagram and Snapchat and all that good stuff, dog. So apparently, dude, uh, XX Tentacion Temptation uh, was killed. Uh, dead at 20 20 bro shooting. Nigga not even legally old enough to drink Already gone uh, Shot and killed in Florida The Borough County Sheriff said uh, Died in hospital after a shooting In Deer Be- Deerfield Beach Florida Deputy said was leaving Reva Motorsports Shortly after 4 when he was approached by two armed suspects They say he one of the suspects opened fire. Both suspects fled the scene of what police described as a possible robbery. I think it was a hit. Announced dead on arrival. They knew what that nigga was. Everybody and posting everything in Snapchat. I always got their locations on. Are we at this spot? We over here. This article said he posted to Instagram that he was planning a charity event that weekend in Florida. Mm. That's it? So then it had to be inside. Mm-hmm. And then it said he was awaiting trial on charges that he allegedly beat his pregnant girlfriend. An allegation that he denied. Which is which is not true. <laughs> this nigga definitely did it. <laughs> she ain't be herself, nigga. Well, you can't go to trial now. Does that mean she win automatically? There is no win. <laughs> I wonder what happened.
happens next now. Uh, we probably That's make. crazy. Out of all the niggas, I I did not. I thought definitely that that six nine nigga would have got killed first. Mm, ain't no telling. Could have been the girl. Mm. Could have been just a botched robbery. But it's so Could've weird. Like out of all the niggas that you go up on, you know, you had to know who that nigga was. You don't just walk up on a random nigga, come out of a motorsports, and then. Rob him and shoot him. Like, mm, you can't, you you can't. Uh... Oh shit! What? I'm not even laughing at him. I was scrolling through Tumblr and it's like a security footage of somebody at like a restaurant. And uh, he was holding a to-go box in his left hand and a drink in his right. And he's walking, holding a drink. Oh, well, you were blocked. Oh, yeah, I saw and that shit. He was swinging at his swinging, man. Yeah. He just missed three times. And he, he just, just hit her in the face. The head with it. Bro, that and shit was know. hilarious, dog. I, I'm that's low key. ABC, that's ABC 13. That's an H. I'm low key upset. He just wasted his to go box. I wouldn't waste my to go box on that bitch. I would have threw my drink in the face for wasting my food. What's with you and calling women bitches? I'm sorry. You just, this is like the third time. It bro. is. I don't know what's wrong with you. I mean, well, if you try to knock my food out of my hand, you just kind of a bitch. Right, but you don't know the circumstances. He might have, you don't know if he did something and she just mad. She can't just be, you know. I don't mean, you, you just True. call the people bitch. You'd be like, True. yeah, I wouldn't have. I would, hold, I would hold my bitches until. What's wrong with you? Until we learn more about the facts. Openness. All right, so uh, E3. Yes. So. Let's try this again. E3 was this past week. Uh, it's like, if you don't know what E3 is, it's a conference where all the biggest video game developers and and video enthusiasts get together to showcase their new games for the upcoming and for the current and upcoming and future years. I don't remember what E3 stands for. Electronics convention. Electronic something. Wikipedia, the Electronics Entertainment Expo, something. Uh, E3. It was like a, a long list of games uh, announced and trailered and stuff. This might have been the biggest year for games, period. Like, yeah, so it was everybody was just all games, no, no peripheral, nothing that, none of that. I thought they would announce uh, PlayStation Five and the Xbox, uh, whatever the fuck, I don't know, Xbox Two. Well, I mean, the last, even the last life cycles were long. They were like, what, eight and ten years. But the that's Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So they go, they just put out a bit a stronger Xbox, what, last year? Yeah. So it's but that's only be, two years. It's probably going to be like another three years before Mm-mm. the next one. The, I think they said the reason why the last one was so long was for a specific reason, but I forgot what that reason was. But it would only last like four or five years at max, maybe a little bit more, but. That, that's the only reason why that one was so long, but uh, this one's this they uh, fucking the the director of Xbox. I mean, the rest of PlayStation said, yeah, PlayStation Four is entering this last life cycle. Yeah, that's probably another two years. Though. Nah, that's another two years. That's it. And then they talking about consoles might not even exist anymore, which I can see that happening too. They're just gonna give you a computer, basically. Or give you like just a stick with games on it so you X- can stream games. Xbox One. 2013 Yeah So, so it's, it's out of there another two years Two years That's still a while It's mm-hmm. a bunch of games Look uh, Let me see what's uh, Games Announced At E3 2018 You wanna go by Developer You wanna just go by games Not just whatever Game you're interested in I typed that, Like I tried to go through A website for a list And one I did like a uh, one was like G Force website, but I don't know if it was every single game. Uh, I just went through the stuff. So Elder Scrolls Six, do not care. Fallout Seventy Six, do not care. Cyberpunk Twenty Seventy Seven, it might be GTA I'm, of the future, or I want to fuck with that, or it's Watch Dogs, just because it's Cyberpunk. So I may or may not care. Just Cause Four, do not care. No nope. Infinite, Infinite. I'm curious what it actually I, will. be. I heard that was gonna be an arcade game. 
Ain't no telling because they didn't show shit. About shit, it. they just show a, a bunch of nothing. Uh, Gears of War Five. I probably should go back and play Gears of War Four. I don't think I. I don't care. It, I don't care for Gears of I War. Play it. Uh, Battle Toes. My eyebrows are raised. I'm interested in what they're gonna. Do. I didn't even see anything. I didn't. I didn't see anything. I like uh, literally. Kind of announced it. Mm, uh, generic ass fucking. Dying Light titles. Two. Do not care. Kingdom nah. Hearts Three. I didn't play the second one, so I'm not invested. Uh, the Sekiro, Sekiro, they might not be right. Uh, Shadows Die Twice is basically Samurai Dark Souls. Basically, Samurai so, Dark Souls. It even, it even give like no indication that it wasn't Samurai Dark Souls. So I definitely don't care. I know, regular. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Division 2, do not care. It's the same game with some extra things, and it's in Washington, D.C. now. Uh, Did we even finish the story for the for the? We beat the story. We didn't beat all. We didn't do all the extra DLC stuff. But was the the, the extra DLC stuff even linked to the main story? Because uh, I still don't know what happened was, to what's his face. Just, no, it was just different sets of missions. Like there was the extra dark zone stuff that was just different set of missions. There was the underground, which was just oh this is now operational. Uh, and that was about it. And. Um, Whatever those extra missions where you can uh, farm Phoenix credits, but other than that, I start playing it. Uh, Devil May Cry, Def- uh, Devil May Cry Five, do not care. Jump Force, I need to actually see some gameplay, not just a flashy ass trailer, some actual gameplay play before I even think about it. Uh, Anthem, my eyebrows are kind of raised, but it really just looks like. Uh, the same birth of division and destiny uh which may which may may not be good or bad and i'll tell i guess we i guess since it's not division i'd probably be more receptive to it but i i'm not i'm not high on it uh battlefield 5 another world war game but now it has a battle royale mode a world war 2 game no world war 1 or 2 game i think it's world war 2 yeah, i think it's world war 2 it looks stupid. But it's it a, looks like Battlefield. But it's another game about the World War. Like I don't care. I mean, unless uh, we start more wars, nigga. <laughs> Jedi Fallen Order is set between Episode Three and Four, which is the nineteen years between the first, the prequels, and the originals, and is where Jedi are being hunted down. Do I get to play as a Jedi? I would assume so. Then I'm for it. As long, anytime I get, I don't want to play as a regular shooter. Fuck that shit. If I'm not a Jedi. It's no point in playing the fucking <laughs> the fucking game. Okay, and then this is battle for it, nigga. Then there's another FIFA, another Madden, another NBA Live, uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two. Um, I've never even played the first one. Trials Rising. Why not? Who the fuck cares? It's Trials. No, nah, who cares? No, who cares? Why not? It's just Trials. Who fucking new, cares? New maps. No one cares. Uh, <laughs> Skull and Bones, more people back on the pirate kick again. Like that, bro. That the, fuck pirates. The next retrend I hate fucking again. pirate ship shit so much. Uh, cause of cause of Assassin's Creed, where basically everything you did was on the ship. I hated that shit so much. That brings me to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, more white people. <laughs> Let's go. I I heard it was actually pretty good though. I was I was listening to the so I'll be watching the gaming Illuminati videos and they were talking about how it's like it's. It's, it said it. Everybody thought it was just gonna be like cut and paste of uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, but it's just I guess it's its own game and game in its own right. Yeah, all of them are. They still yeah. all the same game. <laughs> no, nah, but they. I, I don't area, know. There's a you go. They said it's like power, more fluid and. There's an area you go to a high place. You see all the million objectives and collectibles yeah. you get, and then you complete that area. That Spartan Kick is amazing. Though. I can't wait to do that shit. Uh, there's a game called Mavericks Proving Ground where they want to do uh, a thousand player battle royales not just hundred a thousand and uh, destructive environments high, that's stupid high fidelity world with wildlife uh, I already signed up uh, <laughs> really yeah wow Cause that shit's not gonna work there's that and then there's there's supposed to be a, a persistent survival thing so I was like, "Fuck it, thousand player uh, so, battle royale." It sounds like chaos. I'm down, it, bro. That game will be long. That game will be long as shit. And another <laughs> this, another destiny. <laughs> Man, no, nah, it's not a destiny. It's a any DLC. I don't care. Man eater, uh, you get to be a shark, and I type Keanu Reeves. Whoa! <laughs> it's, a, it's a shark PG. You get to be a shark and learn shark skills. So that'd be a nice. Joke. No, it's not. I could be Jaws. <laughs> 
Uh, Overkill's The Walking Dead is interesting. It's basically Left for Dead with The Walking Dead. And but there's like two of those type of games coming out too, though. It's that one and then it's another like Left for Dead. Left this for, game. Le, there's Overkill's Left for Dead, and then there. I mean, Walking All Dead, Dead, and then there's The Walking Dead. Uh, what's that movie? No, no, not the Telltale, though, but yeah, there's, there's another another Walking Dead cro- Telltale coming out. Yeah, I know there's another The Walking Dead. I'm excited for that one. I, I like The Walking Dead Telltale. Nah, but I don't care about Telltale. I bro, Telltale's are Overkill's good. Walking Dead. It's basically Left for Dead, Walking mm, Dead. Basically, but it's, like, mm, but it's like you're gonna sh- if you start shooting at people, zombies might show up. Yeah, yeah. And then like you might. You might just like let them get eaten, like, or try to fight the zombies off, and then you just like shooting people in the back of the head, and you can like craft different shit and have different weapons. So is it gonna be like a co-op? Is it gonna be like a story mode? Or is it gonna be like drop in, do shit, leave? Uh, I assume it's a story mode. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, I didn't look at. I was like, so, I saw you gotta go back and watch gameplay. What is you do he, is. When you watch E3, there's, go back and watch gameplay. It look like a story mode where you kind of explore the world, though. Like open It looked kind of trashy. Maybe mm-hmm. because motherfuckers be using that streaming shit, but it didn't look like... I didn't like It didn't look like, like next-gen quality. You feel me? No. Mm. Uh, the Last of Us 2. Uh, I don't have time for games that might make me cry. So I'm definitely not taking Or scare the shit out of you. It probably wouldn't scare me. Bro, the first one scared the shit out of me. It made me put the game down. <laughs> it's like, nah, I can't do too much jump scare shit. Especially some clickers, the ones that's like all the way fungus and be walking around and shit. You bump into them, they just rip your throat out. Like, when no, uh, nah, nah, I'm had to come back to this game. <laughs> uh, Death Stranding, don't care. Hitman 2. <laughs> Let's talk uh, about Death Stranding. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. Nah, go watch the game. I was so mad at the trailer. I, I was like, what the fuck is this thing even talking about? What I is this? See. It just put a random it just put a random shit and it just, it was just like words, more walking. More words, more I walking. See Hideo Kojima just <laughs> making weirdo shit. Bro, weirdo shit. That's a that's a coke dream if I've ever seen one. It's just it made no sense at all. It was no point where I was just like Oh, I get, I get what's happening. I still don't know what's happening. Any show gameplay? Nah, I don't care. I think it was just walking a bunch. Uh, Hitman Two. I didn't play the reboot, but why not? It's, it's Hitman. It's probably yeah, a good game. I probably won't buy it. Uh, Crackdown Three. How I many played the first? Two. <laughs> that shit never I'm coming out. Complete the trilogy. That shit gonna get pushed back again. Uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate, of course. Yeah, yeah. Switch for that shit though. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I'm getting that hoe. One. I'm getting the fuck out Major of that. Hole. I've you finally get to be a proper samurai. Yeah, it's not even like it's Every, not that death, not that uh, uh what you call it shit. Dark Souls. That bullshit. Dark Souls bullshit they trying to do over on Xbox with a fucking grapple arm. And Bro, shit. Uh, Spider Man. Getting it. It's Spider Man. Come on. Uh, for some reason I put Anthem twice. I must have forgot. Uh, they made My Heroes One Justice, which is basically Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Except with the characters from My Hero Academia. Boo. And somehow I put Smash Brothers Ultimate again. Twice. And I put finally. I probably I probably started looking up other lists and then type those again. And that is my E three coverage. <laughs> oh. You wanna talk about the shows themselves? Who do you think won? I didn't watch it. You didn't watch the shows? You That's just looked at the I watched some of the shows. Yeah. I, what the fuck was Sony on? They brought out first they bring out this nigga playing the banjo and I'm just like Okay, and then they they go into the the trailer for uh they go into the trailer for The Last of Us Two. But the thing that got me was when they were doing the the um the Ghost of Tsushima, and they brought out the white boy playing the flute. You gotta look that shit up, dog. It was beautiful, but at the same time, it's just I couldn't get over this white man and this and this 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 traditional Japanese. Gear played his flute. <laughs> I was just like Sony couldn't. Sony, a Japanese company, couldn't find a Japanese man to come out and play. Well, they're in Japan, so probably all the Japanese people are are probably busy trying to do actual adult <laughs> stuff. And, you know, white people always want to be the ones to engross themselves in other, other people's, people's cultures. cultures. Yeah. So it's probably like, hey, we need somebody to uh, dress up in tra- this traditional samurai attire and play this. 
old time 19 uh 19 no, 18 four, 17 12, 12 13 <laughs> uh, century fucking flute. 11th century flute that clarinet would have used and it's like oh yeah this white guy is gonna do it no. will, all right come on do you know how to play do the? You have, the do the you have a passport? Yes. All right, let's go. Come on, guy. You know how to play the traditional Japanese flute? No, nigga. I'm 25. The fuck? I ain't even seen one of them things before. No, like, do you know how to play the instrument? It's like, no, I go to law school. <laughs> do you, do you, Why would I do that? Do you, does your grandfather know how to play the instrument? No, this nigga is a fucking computer software engineer. <laughs> Why the fuck would you Why would you know how to play that? The fuck? I mean, he What about your great-grandfather? He's dead. What the fuck he builds tables? <laughs> He's a carpenter. He didn't make it for you. He not finna be uh flying on. You know that time be flying to America, nigga. We got clients. You see this? It's a fucking wait list, my guy. Bro, we trying to get this these tables off. These these night tables off I mean but it's a Japanese company It is just like Whoever they needed to get They got Basically But it still was funny Oh shit. they probably had somebody Who's local Cause he, <laughs> some, some It Calif- was definitely in California some Californian He did look like California It looked like the nigga Who run Apple now Was in It was in This get up Just like uh, Finally my time to My true passion Ancient Japanese flute playing He played it good I don't like the way they did. They, they, they should have just transitioned into the games with them playing it and shit. Instead of just having somebody come out and play this instrument and then be like, oh, here's a game too. Mm, I mean, people... But that's just the creative director in me. It would have been like, it would look better for them to play the, play the music with the game going and shit. Mm, so there's like industry people judge the actual like presentations and stuff. I don't care. I just want to know... <laughs> What 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 consoles are announced? What games are announced? Look, I know you might hate me for this, but I I think I'm gonna get. Oh, there's several Forza. things I hate you for. Forza, you might have to add this to the list. I think I'm gonna get Forza Horizon two. I don't care. I'm gonna get it. Garen's been on Forza. But the okay, so me and Garen gonna be playing. That that the, no, you and Garen are not. <laughs> Garen doesn't play. Oh yeah, I forgot. Garen doesn't play games. Garen has retired from playing games. Mm. But he will be up till 1 a.m. texting about nonsense. <laughs> Did you? Oh, okay. What game are you most excited for? Like, it's definitely One Day Cop. Uh, <laughs> I was I was going to text you when I saw The Division. I was like, so we One Day in Division 2 again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd play it for the story just to see what's the... What's the progression? But then it's like, why would I start? <laughs> um, day one is going to be. Uh, I put down so many games that I'm not gonna play. Um, day one is definitely Spider Man, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, Ghost. Uh, Spider Man. I'm surprised we didn't get a uh, Overkill, Walking Dead, maybe Hitman Two, and Smash Bros. Ghost. I'm going to get a switch before I go, before the end of the month. Shit, as soon as I finish paying off this TV, shit, I'm going, I'm going back to Best Buy to get a switch. We got a new TV for my mom, so after I pay off that, I'm going. I'll probably get a switch for get the Get a switch, the yes. So I can play games. I want to play, I, wanna, I just want to, like, well, I don't know if I necessarily want a switch, because they didn't really show nothing that was like, but you know what? My friend Pedro, I forgot about that game. I want that game. It just looks whack. Do you, do you think it looks whack? I thought it, it looked like, dope, bro. Like so many, there's like so many 2D shooters out. But that shit, that shit, I will trust me. I know, fuck. <laughs> but that whole look, that whole look, that just it looked different. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like if it looked like Max Payne it's that so, I really, really want. It's so the it's so many 2D size. They need to make out. a Max Payne four, or at least bring Max Payne to the fucking Xbox One. Like reskin it. And make it uh, high def like Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, something. God damn, bro. Like, you can't even play it on your Xbox. Like, it's not even, like, I'm just asking for backwards compatibility. I'm not even asking for all that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, so, I'm now a uh, audio booker. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so great. It makes time go by at work so much faster. Like, I like podcasts, and I still listen to all mine. But with podcasts, I keep having to, uh, like, stop and go to the next one. And they usually only... Yours just don't play? Well, I don't use SoundCloud. I use 
uh, Google Play. So with SoundCloud, they'll just play through, but they'll only play through in the order they will upload it. So if they if like with the Ringer and stuff, they don't always seem to upload it the same day it's supposed to release, or like something that uploads on Google Play on Friday might not show up on SoundCloud till next like Saturday, Tuesday yeah. or something. So I use Google Play because it's usually just like if they say, okay, we recorded this, it's coming out today. It'll come out like an hour after I see them tweet about it. But most podcasts are between 45 minutes to like, well, like the ringers, like they might have one that's like 35 and then there might be one that's like two hours. So it's like I, I have to constantly go to the next one and check check if anything's uploaded. But with audiobooks, I just start the book and let it go. Like I listen, like I bought Ray Allen's autobiography and I opened it and I was like, "They got pizza in here and shit. I don't want to get grease on it. I'm just gonna <laughs> get audi- audible." And yeah. so I listened to it at work and it was so much better. Like I was, like I was into it. I didn't have to like pause to think about nothing. It was just like. It was just like, damn, you moved around a lot. It's like, damn, you ended up in South Carolina. South Carolina trash. It's like, damn, he was on a military base, and then your dad was, your dad like was just not home because he got sent to Korea. Was was uh? It's like, damn, and your whole time was racist. It's like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, you was in college and got hoed. It's like, damn, you went to the league and your coach was George Carl. He was a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> was constantly slandering you in the media and then doing like fake shit like the it was one thing he said I think either they had a game that they won and it was the next day or they had like a good practice and then he went to Nike the next day for something and then he ran in like they ran into his coach at uh, Nike and his coach was like I wouldn't want to be seen hanging around with that guy it's like what the fuck <laughs> like <Such> nigga <laughs> So fuck George Carl. Nigga, I'm a fucking I'm on your team. Yeah, like I'm your I'm I'm like your star player. Yeah, I'm so. your star player on your team. You just gonna just talk down on me in front That's when of the shit out of the coach. Yeah, right, well he ain't no, don't nobody fuck with George Carl anymore. <laughs> fuck George Carl. Yeah, shit like that. Fucking ankles dog the shit with him. No, well, one thing about listening to Ray Allen, but like for some reason, as I was listening to, I was like, man, I want to be a coach now. I need to, I want, I need to be a person. You be that, a good coach. I need I to be a be person a that, that that tries to lead these the youngins to to good. Since it seemed like a lot of the people Ray Allen encountered would like would have led him astray, except for his actual like his college coach Jim Calhoun at uh, UConn. He loves the guy to death. Like the dude pointed him in the right direction. Uh. Fucking Doc Rivers when he was on the Celtics. So like, hey, I already know how it is, guys. You know, I was like, man, this makes me want to, you know, influence the youth to do good. Like, hey, make sure y'all do y'all homework. Just, I just, can see just bother coach. about it. You know, just do it. Don't, if not the head coach, probably like a really great assistant coach, or just like the guy, just like a, a AAU booster. Be like, all right, guys, it's game time. Everybody got. Clean socks. Oh, you ain't got no socks. All right, I got you guys. Yeah, you just keep, like, be the one who keeps like who keeps like a tie or some shit in this car. Yeah, extra oh, yeah, ties got, in this car. Yeah, I got no ties. All right, I got you. I got your ties. <laughs> oh, you need a you need a new belt. Okay, I'm gonna go get your belt. Be Coach Carter and some shit. I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to get to you, son. Be like, oh, you ain't got no shoes. Okay, let's go get you some. some let's go get you. Your some father one in the picture. All right, we'll go to Goodwill. Hey, Goodwill, they have suits for two dollars. That's Walter. He's a coach so, that takes you to Goodwill to get a suit because your daddy went so to your life. So listening to his book made me want to be a coach, but I'm just not. Uh, <laughs> so the reason he left Boston, off. the reason he <laughs> never resigned with Boston, a lot of people were stripped about this shit. First of all, Rajon Rondo is a fucking lunatic. Yeah, they didn't like him, right? Kevin Garnett, Rajon Rondo, and, and so the other motherfucker. They got the championship season. Yeah. The next season, they didn't make it. Then the next season after that, they lost to Miami. This nigga, Rondo, like, I guess they, I think it was when they had, like, a like a tough road. Okay, they won it. And then the next season, Kevin Garnett had got hurt before, I think, like, mid-season. So, he didn't play in the playoffs. And then the next season, they went back to the Eastern Conference Finals. And it was like, God damn, this nigga, Rondo, wildly. He was like... He was like, I think they either were on like a losing streak or they were in like a tough spot in the season. He was like, I carried y'all to a championship. It's like, 
Nigga, no, you didn't. <laughs> By no measure, did you? Ron John need to calm the fuck down. He <laughs> ain't carried. That nigga was wilding. Uh, he was full of himself. He was trying to... Uh, he he would like get mad, like just for at like the randomest thing for no reason, and then like uh, that nigga was on he drugs. Was, he was like chasing stats, so he was trying to like force assist instead of like he'll get all the way to the basket and then try to throw it out to make sure somebody shoot it, and then he'd get mad if they miss or if they pass if the person he passed it to passed it like he was trying he was specifically <laughs> trying to pad his assist and they called him out. Uh, he, or, he would, or he would only actually play hard when it was like a big game. He would even play though like they needed me. to win every single like if he would only play hard if they play like Miami or like OKC when it's Westbrook or something, but like any other game he just would half ass it and shit. And so they would call him out <laughs> and he would like get mad. There was one game that uh not game, but it was like a walkthrough and he just wasn't listening and the coach was like, Hey, you need to listen. He was like, man, whatever. And then, like, the other vets was like, hey, you need to listen. And he, like, threw something at the TV and broke it. And it was like, I'm out of here. Fuck y'all. <laughs> and uh, Ray Allen kept being like, hey, we need to reel this in because this nigga tripping. And they were like, man, I, he'll be all right. <laughs> they just kept, re- they just kept like, in- like, enabling this motherfucker. Yeah, they really were. And then um, they kept trying to trade Rondo. But uh, like they would, they would, they kept trying to trade Ray Allen and Rondo, but they were like, uh, he was like Rondo, like uh, they tried to trade him to Phoenix at one point, and uh, they told Ray Allen, and Ray Allen called Rondo. It was like, hey, you know, uh, just let you know that they told me they're trying to trade us because of your attitude and your antics. You know, you know, you might want to talk to the the GM. Or whatever, and then after that, Rondo was like, uh, "It's your fault that, that they were trying to trade us." He was like, "No, no, nigga, that's it's not, not. That's not what I told you. I said that they <laughs> were trying to trade us because of how you're acting." Nigga, they, I'm a cl- I'm collateral damage right now. They try, yeah. they know somebody gonna pick me up. They know nobody gonna take you. They trying to get rid of you by getting rid of me too. And then uh, he, and then he was like, uh, "Danny ain't the uh, the owner was friends with." Uh, Whoever was owning the Phoenix Suns at the not the owner but uh, the GM who was friends with whoever was friends with GM at the time and he didn't want to like put that burden on him <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like fuck it we can't and then after that it was like they kept trying to trade him they couldn't and they were like fuck it apparently they was just like fuck it we can't trade him we're just gonna make him an offense right and I was like what nigga <laughs> that's not a good idea it was like well we can't get rid of him so we might as well double down and then they kept trying to make Ray Allen take lesser and lesser roles and then it got to like a point where Rondo was specifically not passed the ball to Ray Allen and uh they were like okay so uh we're still gonna run the office store we're just gonna put you on the bench so you don't have to play with him on the court you just play with a different unit so basically they said you're not a starter no more because we can't control this one nigga and, so. and they were gonna give they were gonna give his minutes to uh a bum, Avery, probably. They were going to give his minutes to Avery Bradley, who's a good, who is a good player, but it's like he's not Ray Allen. You're not, yeah, you're not finna just like throw him in front of Ray Allen just because he's playing all right. It's like fix the fucking Rondo problem, yeah, you know, idiots. And then uh, when it came time for him to when he was a free agent, they basically were like, uh, we're only going to give you this much money, and you're probably going to play the least amount of minutes you ever played. And he's for like, a nigga that helped win. A championship for y'all. Yeah, and he was like, "Well, you can't up the money, so I'm like I was on the team that wanted to change it. Like, nah, this is it." And, ah. and he talked to Miami, and they were like, "We can't." He's, I think it was either, it was Miami, and then I'm gonna say the Clippers, and um, my like Miami was gonna offer him less money. But they eliminated him the year before, and then like all the vets of Miami were like, "Yeah, you know, we want you to play. We're definitely gonna." Uh, they didn't like promise him like a role or anything, but it's like they weren't gonna treat him like shit. And then he he was no, I think it was the Grizzlies. Yes, yeah, the Grizzlies. Mm. And, uh, cause they tried to trade him to the Grizzlies at one point, and that didn't go through. And then he called it, not. Nah, yeah, I think it was the Grizzlies. He called the Grizzlies like, "Okay, I'm coming after I go to Miami." They're like, 
Are you really or are you just trying to leverage us? He's like, bro, I'm coming after I go to Miami. And then, like, right before he goes to Miami, they sign a different shooting guard. And he's like, man, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so he signed with Miami. And then they was like, oh, that that's traitor. You know, he tra- he's a traitor uh, after that. And he was telling KG about what was going on, but he didn't tell him that he was thinking about that offer. He just never talked to Paul Pierce at all. So that was his I wouldn't regret. want to talk to Paul Pierce either. That was his only regret that he didn't tell Paul Pierce what was going on. But then, like KG was like, did just was like fuck him and didn't pretend he exists. And Rondo was still talking shit. And you know, five years later, they're all like that. They went on like an NBA show, like man, he traded. You know, he went to the enemy and all that. It was and he like the whole, his he specifically was like the whole time he just wouldn't say anything about it. Because it's like, why do you have to defend yourself when you're a free agent and the team that one tried to trade you multiple times and two lowballs you for an offer? If I'm gonna get lowballed by a team that I help win a champion, Ray Allen, I know for a fact is a motherfucking beast. So and you know what he did? He went to uh, Miami and, and got another two rings. Yeah, he he basically saved their season, bro. Were, with that step back three, they were as good as dead. With that step back three, so that's some fucked up shit. And that's then, some fucked up shit. The reason uh, he talked about why LeBron uh, left Miami, probably the same reason. Because no, nah, well, with Miami, it was like um, they were running on ragged. Like so, in Boston, the coach was Doc Rivers, who was a player, so he understood a lot of things of like the fatigue and things you go through and being away from your family. So like. You know, if it's a back to back, they didn't have practice. They didn't run as much at like the and like the veterans didn't have to do as much as like the younger players. It's like, you know, you already got all this wear and tear. Miami, it was just like, nope, we're running all the time. Just hard work. So like it was a lot of vets, but they were all like just constantly like run down and fatigued because they were running them hard in practice and shit. And so that's part of why like, LeBron left Miami because you know he couldn't control that. It's like you know you got this this coach who wasn't a player. Dude went came up from like the tape room, and then Pat Riley, who's like an old school dude, who was just like, "Hey, you're super athletes. You can handle it." It's like, uh, "Come on, guy. Like you're running this racket." <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't which understand. Is, which is apparent. Which kind of which kind of uh about just kind of makes sense as to why like in Cleveland they're like oh yeah we don't practice it's like yeah LeBron doesn't feel like going to practice <laughs> he's been in the league for what well, a decade and a half it was like fuck practice he's yeah. just going to just show go to the up game. like y'all niggas go practice yeah y'all, y'all gonna pass me the ball anyway shit <laughs> oh yeah and uh once I finished Ray Allen book I went ahead and started the Harry Potter <laughs> this is like the third straight episode of me talking about Harry Potter, bro. Uh, I started the Harry Potter books because I only read the first five, and uh, I tell you what, listening to them is very delightful. Cause the motherfucker reading that <laughs> makes that shit funny. Like the whole, like every little thing is like when mouth, like when they hold mouth for or some shit, some goofy shit happens. Like I'm just laughing out loud, and then he. <laughs> When he does like her mind, he's like, "Oh, oh no, Ron, don't do that." <laughs> <laughs> this should be funny. And then what I've done is like, once I finish a book, I'll watch the movie. Yeah. And then like in the third book, uh, like Slytherin is trying to cheat, and uh, the dude who does the announcements of the Quidditch match, Lee Jordan, he's a dude with dreads in the movie. So yeah. I just imagine a black dude be like, "Oh, cheat! What? Oh, cheating ass nigga!" <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's want to cheat. Oh, and it's funny because like the yeah, whole dude. time he's never by bi- he, he's always biased so like it's like this, those those dirty those dirty cheating scoundrels and then like McGonagall's like hey call the game right he's like oh sorry <laughs> cheating ass Slytherin it's like hey call the game oh my bad look at those look at these look at these uh Men. Use, these useless uh uh criminals with their <laughs> illegal tactics like come on now it's like my bad fam <laughs> You gotta speak like laugh. you gotta speak like a Britain nigga. A man's man's them down there cheating, bro. <laughs> man's them cheating, bro. Bruv, bruv. Hey, no, the dude was not reading. Professor McGonagall. She was reading the, the the books is basically in like nineteen nineteen eighties. So they're not talking like that, <laughs> bruv. It looks a bit touchy. <laughs> <laughs> bruv, man's down there cheating, bruv. 
Man's them cheat. Man's them got a cheat, bro. I tell you what, the books have have reignited and thrown a, a complete order of gasoline on my hate for blonde hair, blue eyed white people. Cause that motherfucker Draco Malfoy. <laughs> this nigga is a bitch nigga. Like, did you read all? Of, did you read all of them? No, nah, I just finished the third one. Okay, so I'm gonna watch the movie later. This nigga always he he act like he's so tough. He always snitching in every book. He tries to do some form of snitching. He always spying and, and snitching. He's, he's always snitching to like he's not even snitching to like Dumbledore. He's always snitching to Snape. Yeah, and then Snape tries to go Sna- catch them in Snape the act or, or McGonagall because she don't take no like she don't let shit pass. Yeah, like bro, why you always trying to if you so if you such a G, why you always trying to snitch on somebody? It's like bro, if you was real, you just be like, hey Harry, I'm. F- Hey Harry, me crab and go gonna fuck you up after class, my oh, guy. On sight, on sight, bro. That's all you had to be. On if you sight, was that bro. real, you'd be like, "Hey, Potter, after potions, it's me and you, my G. Meet me on, meet me on, meet me on campgrounds. I, I'm, I'm coming with no. Sh- I'm, I'm taking my shirt off and it's just, <laughs> it's just, just, just gonna be throw- It's like the 1960s, 70s. So they're like they're gonna be fighting. Nah, like- it's, it's de- I mean, they got like TV and electricity. It's, it, like semi modern, so it's got to be the eighties. It's nah, not. The, it's, it's, it's not the nineties. It's definitely the eighties. It 80s. started. It's the the thing is it starts where the first book, some shit like that. Well, I forgot what what was it. It's saying? like it's like in Mister. It ends times. when the first book starts or some shit like that. It's like Mister Bean times. It's, that's definitely like maybe the because she released the first. One in 1997, so she but it's, was writing it's the them through the early. It 90s. is where the first one starts. I'm saying that is what the I'm, so it's like early. It's like late 80s. Yeah, it's, it's either mid or late 80s because yeah. they don't. Nobody has like cell phones. Yeah, nobody has cell. So phones. that's that's at least pre 96. So it's, the, it's definitely so. the 80s. Yeah. Um. Uh, let me just say this, Draco Malfoy, you you Aryan motherfucker. <laughs> If I see that nigga in the streets, what's the actor's name? Hold on. <laughs> you can't just punch the actor, dog. No. That I'm, nigga hasn't played Malfoy for almost a decade. I'm not. No. First of all, it hasn't been a decade. It's been almost a decade. It hasn't. He ended it like, ended in what, 2012? Second of all, um. This nigga hasn't been Malfoy for a long time. He's definitely a grown ass man now. His name is Tom Felton. Tom Felton, yeah. Tom Felton. Draco Malfoy. You can't, you can't beat My up nigga. Tom Felton. I, I'm only two movies in and I'm tired of looking at your fucking face. <laughs> when I see you, when I see you use a deer in November, nigga, I'm shooting you on sight. You can't shoot. You can't I'm shoot. fucking Tom you Felder. and your, uh, and whoever plays Lucius Mouth. Fuck both of y'all. You y'all some bitch niggas. Y'all gonna die when I see you. Can't. you. Don't come to Houston. You I'm killing you. You gonna die. <laughs> you can't. There's a hit out for you, okay? Uh, Tom, I'm gonna try to save you, dog. You can't, you can't shoot him for, for Drake. I'm shoot him in the face. You can't, you can't, bro. That nigga's dead. He plays. Okay. Who's he play now? Uh, he was in playing under the apes. And yeah, he was still a, a bitch nigga apes. in that. Yeah, he was a bitch ass nigga in that. So that's just who <laughs> he just, is. That's just that's who just he is. Cat, that's just, just who he is. Me from now on, if I see you, my nigga, you dead. Okay. <laughs> he typecasted as a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> you fucking dead. He was a bitch ass nigga in the Flash too. He played in the Flash also. The new season of the Flash. Let's check his IMDb. Uh, I forgot what I was doing, like mid type. Epsom Surrey. Uh, what's his credits? Uh, Ophelia, Feed, The Flash, something Megan Levy, Stratton, the United. So he's in like a. I guess these are a bunch of Britain movies. Uh, and TV shows. He's in a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Last, the only movies I recognize is the Harry Potter movies on this house. I'm just telling you, don't come to Texas. You can't. You can't. If you show up in Texas, you getting clapped, my nigga. You can't shoot him. I'm treating you like the uh, the ballers in GTA Four. No, GTA Three. No, San Andreas. Why am I tripping? Why well, can't remember GTA? I'm treating you like GTA the ballers. GTA Five too. I'm treating you like the ballers in San Andreas. Okay, it's on site, my nigga. You uh, you go catch a drive by. I'm a hop out with uh, two sawed off shotties, and I'm blow you. I'm blow you off this planet Earth. You can't. You can't do that. I mean it. You cannot do that. I absolutely can't. It will. 
<laughs> Goddamn nigga just pisses me off everything he does. This nigga always trying to snitch about some shit. Or he trying to cheat or make fun. He'll make fun of somebody and then one little thing happen, he just turned bitch immediately. I'm not even I'm not even that far. I'm, I just finished the third book. By the second book, I he just had me pissed off. I was tweeting at his ass. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start <laughs> adding. He ain't been tweeting that about Drake on Malfoy <laughs> shit forever. And this, he just this angry black man calling him a bitch ass nigga and shit. You De- bitch ass nigga. Twitter death threats over a role he hasn't played in years. Ties back. You know it's a movie. Nah, nah fuck, fuck you, you nigga. <laughs> It's on site. He's, it's People send death threats to the shorty from uh the uh the shorty who played in the Last Jedi. Um, what was her name? Rose, the Asian, the Asian chick. Yeah, they've been sending her death threats. Yeah, they've been sending her She had to delete her social media account. That's only white people doing that. Black Bro, people don't bother. They don't like. First of all, we don't care enough. Yeah. We don't. We, the we movie, don't, yeah, the movie's it's, over. It's like I like Star Wars, but I don't like it enough to send fucking. I don't like it enough to send. Death threats to the fucking actors, like, and she's not even a villain. They just hated what uh, happened, and it's like, I mean, she didn't write it. What happened? I forget. Because they had that stupid arc where they went to the gambling den to look for the guy, and then they uh, they ended up getting uh, arrested, and then they got broke out by another guy who could do the same role, and then they had like this whole thing where they had to like free the creatures from captivity that they were racing and then they went on the chase and then the guy had to save them and they got all the way onto the ship and then he betrays them but basically they could have just left the whole casino shit out of the movie and the movie would have still did the same thing so that's like, why niggas are sending her I, death threats i guess i guess a lot why of why did you send death that. threats to fucking uh, what's the nigga name who wrote it? I forgot. It's not George Lucas. Is not writing them anymore. It's somebody nah, else. But whoever wrote it. Uh, and then who 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 directed it? Um, uh, I don't know. I what's don't his face? That. See, people, people pay a lot of attention to directors. I really don't because they're all white and they're not Jordan Peele or, or Ava Guillermo. So or uh, what's his face that made Creed and um or Ryan Coogler so I, I don't know so many white directors I don't know I guess I should try to pay more attention as much as I like movies but I don't care they're, they're white I don't care but yeah they sending her death threats send your death threats to motherfucker motherfucker Tom Felton for being Draco Malfoy bitch ass he the <laughs> one who earned the death threats about to earn some more too cause I'm, I'm on book 3 out of 7 so I have a lot more rage to to, to build uh, I can't I can't what was, the, what was the Star Wars movie called The most recent one The Last Jedi The Last Jedi <clears throat> Rich Ryan Rehan Johnson Directed The Last Jedi movie I think it's just Ryan <clears throat> Rehan. I think it's Ryan. Rehan. Ryan. Rehan. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. But yeah. Ryu. Fuck you, Tom Felton. It was written by it was written and and directed by this nigga, so blame him. Don't send death threats to in, like in, in like she's not even like a main really a main part of the fucking movie. She's she's a support she's support support cast. Yeah, send all your death threats to Tom Felton. <laughs> you can't send death threats to Tom Felton. Yeah, I can't even. Tom remember. Felton doesn't even probably remember playing Draco Malfoy. Oh, no, he he, he tries to actively forget that role. Hey, he got eight movies out of it. <laughs> eight <laughs> high selling movies out of it. He sent for life out of them hoes. You gonna receive these make? death threats, you you bitch. Fucking toss pot. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, uh, so I had the far. idea that we should play uh, PlayStation 2 co op games. I'm down because they, they don't make co op games like they used to. So we should uh, go ahead and get those emulators popping because we're not buying games that have already bro, come out. I'm not even years. buying, like, bro. Because there's so many good ones. There's the Warriors. There's uh, Mortal Kombat, Shaolin Monks. I forgot about that game. There's uh, well, I don't remember the rest of them. But there's those two. We need to get an Elgato. Stream them hoes. But uh, what was I gonna say? Because I love Mortal Kombat, Shaolin Monks. Who's your favorite character from Mortal Kombat? My favorite character from Mortal Kombat. If you had one. 
has to be Johnny Cage. He's just he's an asshole. That's like he's just a rich. He's 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 a famous nigga who got them hands basically. Like if he was black, he'd be Wesley Snipes. Or or um, they'll probably actually, Michael J. White. They'll probably actually add Wesley Snipes eventually. Yeah. Oh, you, uh, you know what I was thinking about for some reason. While I was at the movies, I was thinking about Mortal Kombat characters. What movie did you go see where you thought about Mortal Kombat characters? I don't know why. It was The Incredibles. Oh, you know what? Because Frozone. And then my brain went from Frozone to Sub Zero. To Sub Zero. And Sub Zero and Kung Lao are my favorite Mortal Kombat. Probably only because I played Shaolin Monks like through twice with Brandon. I don't remember who I, I played it with again. Oh my! Uh, with Ira, and uh, uh, you is like Liu Kang and Kung Lao because they're monks. Yeah, and then you can unlock Scorpion Sub Zero, and I always play with Sub Zero. And the other person I always play with Scorpion. Scorpion. So I always play with Kung Lao and Sub Zero, and it's, they're my favorite. And I feel like Sub Zero is like the dopest. Like he can like just freeze people, and, like rip off your arms. He can like just like teleport through ice and shit. He can like make ice clones. I don't know why I find that so intriguing. It's crazy to think that they like the two best characters is probably Sub Zero and and Scorpion. They're probably the two I mean, best it's, representations it's, it's of the, the series. It's the color palette ninjas. Yeah, but like they made they for they focus the series around Luke Kane, like to, in the nineties and shit. Yeah, even I guess because they made the movies about Luke Kane. It's the, it's the Bruce Lee effect. Yeah, basically. But like he's he, Bruce Lee. If you if you ever go back and just like look up the lore behind Sub Zero and Scorpion. Like they were, they were alive at one point. Yeah, the mortal <laughs> enemies alive at one point. Scorpion dies, gets sent to hell, uh, gets resurrected as a demon or some shit like that. What well, they? Uh, shit, he knows more than I do. Shang Tsung, yeah. turns him into a specter. It's crazy. Like you Be, can make a whole they, movie off of that they, shit. They they blame. They made him think his death was at the hands of the uh, the Lin Kuei who Sub Zero was, was worth, leading. Yeah. So he has a he had a vendetta against Sub Zero, and then he kills one. Oh, this is where I forget. I think he kills the first one. Yeah, he kills Bai Han, and then uh, the other Sub Zero who I can't remember his name becomes. Sub Zero and then Bai Han becomes Noob Cybot or Smoke. Probably Smoke. I think it was Smoke. Because Cybot is just. When is this Cybot just a cyborg? Nah, I forgot. Uh, it's probably Smoke. Noob Cybot. But yeah, Sub Zero is. Sub Zero is. Okay, I, dope. Think, I think he's Bai Han. Yeah, I think he becomes. By, huh? It's weird when you think about all these video games have like extra deep lore in them, <laughs> like that people just I don't had, know about. I had looked it up a while ago. Yeah, I think the 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 sub the first Sub Zero becomes New Cybot, and then no Smoke was just a different ninja. Oh. I think Smoke was just a different person entirely, and so his brother becomes Sub Zero. The original Sub Zero becomes Noob Cybot, and then um, he just fights to the death for all eternity. This is weird shit. A lot of weird shit happens in Mortal Kombat. Who's making this shit up? I feel like there's just one person that's just like, hey, you nah, know what? It's, it's it's a it's a team, and uh, I mean they started it started pretty small, so like the original characters were kind of developed and it's like oh well we're just gonna color swap a bunch of the same person so now these are all characters we need to think of backstories for <laughs> <laughs> oh shit uh, and the nigga dies and he he gets sent to I mean what's his face turns him into a specter so now he has a, a flaming and skull it, as a head and like Shang Tsung was the uh, was under Quan Chi Who's under uh, Shao Kahn? Yeah, let's put that in there too. And then there's like an even stronger wizard somewhere in the mix, who we have, uh, who we're never going to show. I know they show. Are they show? Uh, who's I don't know. It's it's it's, it's, it's it, it, if you're not on top of it, it, you just lose it. It just goes mm-hmm. away. Like people, like uh, like Derek, 
This dude I know named Dare. He's like all. The, he's like deep, he's deep like in the shit. Shoulders deep in Mortal Kombat. He could tell you, but I haven't played Mortal Kombat forever, so I forgot the whole thing. But it's, it's it kind of gets convoluted in places where it's just like, well, this guy is a similar person of this other person. We gotta think of something for him. <laughs> There's a lot of people who are just way too similar in their roster. It's like at like 80 people now. It's a lot. Uh, so, you know, um, motherfucking UFC. I forgot to look up the article. Um, UFC. Greg Hardy. Why did they sign Greg Hardy? The UFC? Yeah. Why the fuck not? <laughs> Didn't he say he because he he knocked out one dude in uh in a twenty seven second in twenty seven seconds or some shit. I don't know, but that's, that's come on now, like that's just that, that's just like <laughs> adding fuel to a fire. Nah, that's just like that. It's I don't know if I can't tell you if the WWF or UFC. What you say, Greg worse. Hardy? Greg Hardy. Like the Hardy Boys. No. Oh, like the football player. Greg Hardy from the NFL. Yeah. Who, who was beating up women and had like 18 million assault rifles and a bunch of money in an apartment and shit. Look. When you can knock a nigga out in 27 seconds. But the UFC needs all the talent they can like get. They're just grasping for any kind of relevancy. It's like they, they're so... No one cares anymore. They can't, they can't keep their sport up. Properly. <laughs> they can't keep their sport up properly. So it's like they gotta resort to like what? People don't actually like blood sport? Um people actually like seeing competition and actual skill instead of just niggas swinging randomly. Like they gotta resort to like dumb shit. Bruh. It's like it's like you lose Conor McGregor to boxing and then he ruins he ruins a whole card basically after that. Cause they don't, they don't. I think they don't promote. They don't promote their fighters right, and it's a lot of their fighters are just like, are not dudes who are known for you know talking shit like boxers and shit. All boxers talk shit, most of them at least. But you know who the who the boxers are. You know what I'm saying? Like they make they make themselves a a, a, a home name. You can't name half the half the people fight on the UFC card. I can't name. Unless it's like Anderson Silva, John Jones, DC I Curry. Remember, I, only, I can't remember like the legacy people like fucking uh, Rashad, Rashad yeah, Jackson. Rashad. I mean Rashad, yeah, Rashad Johnson, uh, Rampage Jackson, Chuck Liddell. Like they made they made themselves self like home names. Like you don't even yeah, have to know. Silver. You don't even have to watch UFC to know who the fuck Chuck Liddell is. Like you never have to see the nigga box at all. If, as soon as you see that little buzz cut mohawk, you know who the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? A little over 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 like. Fucking 50, 40 year old white man with rough ass features and shit. Oh, that's fucking Chuck Liddell. Or this big ass nigga <laughs> with a ball cut and a gold chain, actual chain around his neck. You'll be like, that's Rampage Jackson. Rampage Jackson was in a fucking movie. <laughs> they ain't it's put. B.A. Baracus. Huh? It's B.A. Baracus. Yeah. Or, uh, Rashad Evans. It was just good. Yeah. Rashad Evans, I said Rashad Jackson. I couldn't think. Rashad, of I couldn't think his name either. Yeah, they don't make themselves, but everybody knows who the fuck Floyd Mayweather is. Everybody knows who the because Floyd doesn't only like Floyd. He does everything, but they boxers Floyd usually go outside in the world of boxing. Like UFC people, there's there's a lot of people who fight in the UFC that you just don't know who the fuck they that's are. That's why. I, that's a, why a every time UFC I try fan. to get into it, it's like who the fuck are all fourteen of these <clears> people on this card? Yeah, like. You don't even know, and they just now started adding women's events to the uh, mix and shit too. Well, so that's even more fighters that you Ronda, have to worry about. Ronda Rousey lost, and it was just like well, three times in a row. Well, it's like, well, that's over. And now she's in wrestling. She got her ass whooped three times in a row. She she lost that one girl, came back, lost again. Yeah, Holly Holmes just whooped her ass. And Holly Holmes did Holly Holmes would have got her ass whooped. So you lost to a bitch you wasn't even that good. You just you just weren't better than she was. <laughs> That's the funny shit about it. Yeah. You you lose to a bitch who lost to a, a, a better on, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? Why you I don't just, know. why you just on this this calling women bitches kid? I don't know. What the hell is wrong with you? I think it's this old Houston coming out of me. 
Middle school, school coming out of me But nah You on some you, millennial shit You lost to a girl That lost to a girl A better girl than you Like The girl that beat Holly Holmes She whooped her ass <laughs> Like Quick Ronda Rousey went What All three rounds with her I don't know I ain't watch that shit mm. Just know she got her ass whooped Well UFC trash They signed Greg Hardy trash ass That shit gonna Be over in a year Shit, unless he can whoop somebody's ass. <laughs> not like he can stay out. If you can't stay in the NFL, then you definitely not finna stay in UFC. He, like the UFC cares about any of that. He's definitely gonna kill somebody. Do you, every time, every time one of their one of their fighters gets caught hitting a woman, they just look at him like put up a like you know. Remember those old little things that we used to those little photos we used to have to put in front of our faces when we used to take tests and shit. <laughs> they do that shit. That's so that was so weird. <laughs> they do that shit. That's such a weird thing. Put up blinders and be like, oh, I well, I wasn't looking over there at the time. I was looking over here. So I remember that. Or like some people, you some teachers used to like laminate them hoes. Yeah. Oh, Stupid shit. Why did they do that? And we still cheated. So. That did that didn't teach me anything. Yeah. I definitely cheated in undergrad, bro. <laughs> that ass is just like you think. Oh, we're we're there we're, was a whole people class. People peeking is the problem. No, there was a whole class where the dude had a, his just a, his whole bank on blackboard, and it's just like that's how like his lectures were boring as hell. There's a whole lot of information he was covering at once. Nobody actually bothered to go to his lectures. Or if they did, they would just be sleep. Yeah, we we signed up for his eight o'clock class to not go to it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that some shit? And then it's like we would just print out his whole bank <laughs> and just answer the bank. And then when the exam, like people would openly cheat in his exam, he'd be like, "Hey, hey, hey, put the phone away. I can see it." Mm, now nah, we're still gonna do it. You know this class sucks. We know this class sucks. We up in the morning for no reason. You just trying to get a paycheck. Let me cheat, dog. I mean, dude has like hella, like he's wrote like probably like ten books by now. Yeah, you get like a shitload of research, but getting royalties, bro. Nobody, nobody's taking his class seriously. Yeah, let us cheat, bro. You don't even take your class seriously. Now he'll come in and lecture to five people. Yeah. He's he's going to get these lectures off. <laughs> nobody's going to listen. It looks to like him. the class is a little short this week. Let's get it in now. And, and uh, so I had, I went to Walmart. For some hair products and shit. And there was two ladies standing outside of a car. Well, one of them was pregnant. But she's standing in an open parking spot next to the car smoking. I'm like, this is really weird. It's like, it's 2018. Why are you, why are you smoking? As I a thought you were going to say, why are you pregnant? <laughs> no, why are you, why are you smoking? As a, There's so much information out right now to tell you that you definitely should not be smoking while you're pregnant. In, in 2018, you're standing in Walmart parking lot. You answered your own round question. Round as fuck smoking a cigarette. You answered your own question. It's between, and that shit just, just had me so weirded out in Walmart. Like, I couldn't. I couldn't get past it. You keep I, answering your own question. I couldn't. Get, I couldn't <laughs> Every not, time you say Walmart, you're answering could, your own question. I could not move past it. Like it just affected me so much. I think it's because my cousin does like uh, smoking cessation stuff for work. That it like it double it doubly annoys me. That it's like fam. It's like like literally everybody in the world in the country knows that you shouldn't smoke while you're pregnant. But you should. Drink nor smoke. You should neither drink nor smoke. But people don't give a fuck but, about but my, they sales or they like, or the people around them. This this, uh, I mean, cigarettes is like ten dollars now. So you you're just cigarettes are expensive. You're just fuck. burning two dollars right now, and you're harming your child. It's like you're just not trying to succeed. Nah, I can't live like that, bro. Like. You answered your own question. It's fucking you, warm. Li- you might as well just go and set two dollars on fire. <laughs> you might as well go and set your <laughs> and stomach on fire. Punch your feeders. <laughs> it's quicker ways. To, it's quicker ways to uh, uh, terminate a pregnancy. That. Oh yeah. Uh, so Uber is using spy data to tell if you're drunk. They're gonna monitor. They're gonna monitor how the angle you hold your phone, how long it takes you to type in stuff. Uh, 
how you talk into the phone and some other shit to determine if you are drunk. So it's like first of all, if uh, I'm drunk, nigga, and I'm calling no, you for of all, a reason, it's a fuck? ride share. I'm not driving. Second of all, why do you need to collect all this fucking data to determine if I'm drunk? So they can like, charge you, you more serious? money. Are you serious? Like we just had a problem with Facebook collecting people's data and shit, and you're gonna say, you know what? We're doubling down on this. So it's just so they can charge you more money because this why it's fuck Uber. Yeah, fuck I, Uber. Fuck, like y'all niggas trash. That's why Lyft is superior. Like mm. y'all trying to take it. Y'all trying to take data from people's phone to determine if, if they're drunk? how they're holding the phone, like what, how I, fast it takes them to type, how long it takes them. To what if I? Message? What if I just had a, a accident? And I'm trying to fucking, I don't know, get somewhere. Or what if some traumatic shit just happened? I, my girl broke up with me in the middle of fucking Costco. Or or my, I heard my mom just just I, fucking tripped and fell down a flight of stairs. And I'm in shock trying to fucking get get this phone to, to shit in to go see her. Or somebody's having a fucking heart attack or, or a heart attack. Or, or my shit. girl is pregnant as fuck and, she, and she's by herself and she's trying to type in to get to a hospital because... Oh, and it's she like can't you, drive you to, some you shit. You try to call instructions to somebody or some shit. You got to yeah. do CPR, and you're trying to like in between switching off. You're trying to send a message, but then I, oh, I'll get tired. I need to switch. It's like y'all are stupid, bro. Like y'all really, y'all, y'all really need to be reeling back from all this PR shit. And y'all like, hey guys, we're gonna take a bunch of spy data off of you <laughs> without your knowledge <laughs> to, to see if you're drunk, so we can charge you more money. It's like. <laughs> We could charge you more money to ride to use our ride sharing app. So Uber still trash from <laughs> because I'm never ever using Uber ever again. Be, look, because you're responsible <laughs> to not drive drunk, so you decided to call us, call somebody else to drive you. <laughs> and, hey, we're gonna charge we're, you. Extra. We're specifically avoiding taxi service. We're undermining them, yeah. so we're calling you. But then you're like, hey, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a whole lot of information on your ass." That's the only reason why, bro. Fuck Just so they can charge Uber. you more money. Either they so they can cancel your rides, or they can charge you more money, or a combination of both. That's what I see it as. It's a combination of both. It always ends with money. Why else are you taking the data for? For fun? They're, the just, fuck? they're just trash. Like like Facebook was taking data to uh. To when to to see when teens were at their most uh, vulnerable, like emotionally vulnerable, so they and it was like we were just doing it to see to see when they were most vulnerable. It's just like why though? Why so why would you need to know when you, a teen is most vulnerable? You're doing it just for fucking fun? No, nigga, you're doing it for some so, slide some shit, some vindictive shit, so you can throw ads Vindle at teenagers shit. who are fucking going through shit right now. Well, fuck y'all too. Mm. Um, I hob, what's wrong with y'all? Is Why that still is that real thing or is that just a joke? I, I so I haven't looked this up. I've only been seeing people's reaction. I'm a hundred percent certain. Okay, I'm ninety nine percent certain that they went for a troll move. I think they wanted to announce that they're doing burgers now, but they knew that if they just say, "Hey, I hop now we're gonna have burgers," that people are gonna make fun of that. So like, no, 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 no! You gotta listen. Hear me out. Let me finish. That people are gonna make fun of that. They're gonna be like, "Who the fuck is going? I have a fucking burger." So you know what they did? They are they. It's smart, but it's dumb at the same time. It's extremely stupid. So they were like, you know what? Instead of just trying to do something and it backfires, Let's and people make fun of us, we're gonna we're gonna go head first into it. We're gonna dive Bro. right into it. They like fuck it. We go. We're gonna have some twenty year old person replace all the peas with bees since that's a internet thing now. And we're gonna say no. Nope, we're changing our name now to IHOP. We're, we're we're making pancakes and and chocolate pudding is <laughs> and shit. We're making pancakes and chocolate pudding. So they like. Uh, they don't even know what the fuck that shit is. Chocolate bip bab bakes and shit. <laughs> so they like now nah, fuck it. Instead of getting made fun of and and memed and shit and uh have the internet just make fun of so bad that it backfires. We're gonna double down on the shit. Well, not even double down. We're gonna we're gonna lean all the way in to be in lane. And then you know what happens? Everybody knows that IHOP is uh, serving burgers now. That shit's not flying under the radar at all. That shit it's, was heavy news for a whole week. 
it now, bro, it's, now it pissed everybody off. Cause like no one else like if you just came out and be like, hey, guess what? If they just did it for like a week. You'd have been like, okay, cool, we're IHOP. Ah, it's a joke, but we do got burgers though. Like, we but we see, still they IHOP. Knew, but they we knew still got burgers, they were though. gonna get made fun of. I mean, they, but they that's were, the one but thing. See, instead of instead of it's like Michael Scott or uh, uh, The Office when he was getting made fun of for falling in the koi pond, and Jim was like, instead of trying to fight it, just make fun of yourself. He's like, he's like, no, that's not gonna work. He's like, I'm a big stupid idiot. He's like, oh no, you're not an idiot. Oh, the only thing is, Michael Scott wasn't mature enough to handle making fun of himself, and everybody's like, "Oh, whatever." And then he took it too far. Yeah, I was like, "Fuck it, yeah, just do it, and let do it, it fly, bro. <laughs> just let it fly, bro. It's genius. It's, it's stupid, but it's genius. Stupid. It's like you could have had this going for like a week. You could have just joked and been like, "Ah, oh, yeah, we're changing the IHOP." Ha, ha. Ain't nobody finna go to IHOP for a burger. But see, they 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 I'm got on. To go to they IHOP got on all the local news and shit about it. <laughs> I mean, even if they just did it for like a week and then like a week later, this is going on a while. This is like two weeks later, dog. No, nah, that <laughs> this you know is they real. Did? You know what they did? Lebar Ball. Just kept going with it. All pl- look, all publicity is good publicity. Bro, There's no bad publicity. None. They're probably gonna change it back slowly, like late July. He'll go back without nobody knowing. Hey, we was just joking about that, but we do got burgers though. We definitely have. Yeah, burgers. but I'm not going to IHOP for a burger. I mean, there's literally. I mean, I gotta go see what literally this is about. No, absolutely not. This, my guy, you live in Houston. We're going to Waterburger. <laughs> I'm at no point in my life will I ever be like, you know, I want a burger. I'm going to IHOP. No, that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> why would you go to it? Also, why are y'all doing burgers? Why didn't y'all? Why didn't y'all just add brunch? That'd have been better. In a international house of brunch, that'd have been a lot better than fucking burgers. Or just leave it IHOP and add a brunch menu. IHOP. I'm not. I'm never gonna say IHOP. <laughs> I'm not either. I've been calling shit IHOP for twenty years. For never. twenty years, I'm going to IHOP for pancakes and French toast and waffles and nothing. I would never in my life. You, you really could have just went breakfast or brunch and just remind. Or just people. not did it and be like, hey, <laughs> we also got burgers. Be like, hey, we're we're rolling out some burgers. We're so good, you might have to start calling us IHOP now. I'd be like, ah, that's funny. They got burgers. They not- get- it's like everybody trying to go over uh, Roscoe's corner and have chicken and waffles and shit. <laughs> Nobody's trying to. No, no, no. Breakfast by trying to have a, like if you, if you just like hey we're we're gonna add and see I think it's because they tried to do like seven and one they're like hey we're gonna have two breakfast burgers on the menu it'd be like what okay a, that's interesting yeah but uh we got seven now we're a whole burger spot it's like no my nigga like wherever there's a i hop around there's definitely a water burger i'm just gonna go to water burger definitely just gonna go to water burger i'm t- a hundred times i'm not finna go sit down order some shit just to get a burger with an avocado on it like people i can ask for extra avocado at, at the drive through like people who want burgers generally don't want to have to get out of their car. <laughs> if I have to get out of my car, I'm d- if if I have, it to better get be out just of, to pick the shit up. Look, if I have to get out of my car, I'm not going there because of the burgers. Yeah, no. Okay, no. If I have a, if I'm out of my car and I order a burger, it's because there's nothing else on your menu worth getting outside of a burger. Let's talk of fucking burgers and shit makes me want waffles. Like I think I might go to the store and get some waffles. <laughs> I'm done with this shit. I want some chocolate chip waffles. Let's go to IHOP. <laughs> you can you can order online and go pick it up. That's what I've been doing. Oh, shit, I'm uh, or uh, I think uh, check Postmates because I they, they had a sign on their door that said Postmates. I don't know if they deliver. Uh. Jurassic Park. I was listening to a, a rewatchables about Jurassic Park. Fucking gorgeous movie. Yeah, bro, that movie's a that movie. That even so the newer ones are dope as shit. Dog. I mean, the newer ones are dope, but it's like it's just, it doesn't it's, it's it's capture just, that real life shit. Like yeah, the other because one did. because on the original Jurassic Park, because he he wasn't so for like CGI wasn't that advanced. Yeah, you couldn't. They do a still lot of shit. they made they went through like a whole lot of effort to make practical stuff, and at the same time. He uh he made sure perspective was still part of the movie. So like 
like when the t-rex shows up it's like all the shots are from down up so it's like this thing is tiring over you so it's like you're really scared the velociraptors is just like it's like surround sound shit and yeah the motherfuckers is like stalking your ass you don't know like he basically invented our whole perception of, of a dinosaur of raptors yeah which is wouldn't wasn't even true <laughs> yeah, <laughs> motherfuckers were definitely birds. Like he invented, he invented a whole basketball team. Think of that. He invented a whole basketball. He team. invented. He invented a whole basketball team for a place that probably would not have had dinosaurs. Well, it would have had dinosaurs. It just might not have had raptors. Yeah, as I'm saying, Toronto. Like, he invented a whole. He invented like a whole <laughs> singular creature for not. Like if you think about velociraptors, you think about like. Creatures hunting you down intelligently as a pet, like specifically luring you to some shit. <laughs> they were birds <laughs> to have you out in the open to tear you limb for limb. Like he invented that whole shit. I still can't get over the fact that they were just birds. They look like bird. Like somebody did like an actual, actual recreation of, the, of well, what yeah, the logo like, would look like. Well, and birds, it, birds are the descendant of dinosaurs. Yeah, houses just big feathered. Toothy motherfucker. Yeah, that, we got. We, we think of them the like snakes. Off. They're not. They're more like birds. And the philatro, the philatro, whatever. You can't say. I can't say. I cannot talk. I don't know what the fuck. The velociraptors were basically just birds. Giant, Such, um, giant menacing birds. <laughs> imagine a bunch of eagles just chasing after you <laughs> with like claws and and I guess really sharp beaks. That's still terrifying. Honestly, a six foot tall bird coming after you. Look. I'm not afraid of anything on this planet, but I would not like to ever die by Velociraptor. <laughs> I'll just say it. Not a Velociraptor. Velociraptors. Like this, multiple. I, I don't want to be killed by Velociraptors. That's not a fast death. That's very painful death. It's, it's, what makes it sad is they're probably just going to be fucking with you for the first... For like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> hey, go over there and make a sound. What do you just go over and make a sound, nigga? No, they, they don't even argue like, hey... Go over there. I can be over here. Yeah, you just oh, look at his face. Look at his face. He's so scared. Oh, uh, let's eat him now. All right, yeah. <laughs> let's run these niggas up. <laughs> let's eat him. Oh my god! Just slowly talking shit about you as you're dying. You, you remember his face when you made it? Yeah, I remember his face, bro. <laughs> Oh, that shit was he good. He definitely shit himself. Yeah, he shit himself. Oh yeah, he yeah, he definitely shit himself. Pass me a leg. Give <laughs> <laughs> me that nigga left foot. Give me his left foot. Oh man. Yeah, I don't want. We'd have his face. Oh, oh, they trying to mimic your face and shit. Oh, oh. I'm dying. I oh, look, look, look. I'm a human. Oh my god, you're eating my stomach. <laughs> That's for lobster rafters. <laughs> I'm a human. I'm scared. Oh, oh. I have no beak and feathers. Oh. It's fucked up <laughs> And then He At the same time He unleashed CGI So now it's just CGI is everything <laughs> Everywhere Every movie has a little bit of CGI in it. Like, I don't give a fuck what anybody like says Like people don't use practical effects anymore They don't Shit <laughs> It's more practical to not use practical effects <laughs> Money wise and shit Think about it, You gotta pay somebody to Build the shit who, who, who could take however long You know what I'm saying So Or you could pay but this see, company in China to do it shit in, in thirty hours. We see, like that's why I like that's why Get Out is like a perfect movie. Like there there was so little CGI to think about. Like a lot of it was practical, so it's mm-hmm. just like you're right. Like like you it does you're not taken out of it. A lot of movies, a lot of uh, horror films don't have CGI in them. Well, some of them do, but a lot of the ones like the I remember that one movie with the white girl who did like the contortionist shit. Remember that shit. No. Well, it was one I probably movie. wouldn't watch it because I don't watch the horror movies about. I don't movies. really watch it either, but I know I caught this one flick and they were talking to her about it, and she it's like it was it was one thing where she did with her she did with her body where she just like like twisted it up and shit. It was crazy. You just could have swore it was CGI. It was like, nah, no, that's her. So late, motherfuckers yeah. do that six shows a week. Yeah, but it was her, and she was just an actress. I was like, well, yeah, horror films don't really have. Are we considering Get out a horror film No it's a thriller it's Thriller a you think it's a thriller I think, I think it's, it's a thriller a I think of horror films As either a slasher Or there's something wrong With something And we might die <laughs> Like Bill Simmons Bill Simmons would be like There's either something There's something wrong With this person There's something wrong With this kid Or there's something wrong No 
there's either there's something wrong with my child or there's something wrong with this house. And then there's, uh, and then there's uh the blank from hell, like the nanny from hell, the babysitter from hell, the stepfather from hell, the uh, the uh, kid from hell, the sh- the sheriff from hell. That's like the two. Hor- and then there's the slasher. That's like the the horror films. I remember I I was a kid and I caught this one flick, this one slasher flick. I don't know what the fuck the story was about. All I think I kept, all the thing I kept seeing was this little white boy was just murdering his fucking family. I think it was called Mikey, but he was just murdering his fucking family. All while his mom was just taking a bubble bath. Like he shot his dad in the chest with an arrow, a couple of arrows. And I was just like, why is this white boy just destroying his family? Why is he killing every? He was just killing everybody. He killed the dog too. I was just like, what the I'll fuck t- is the I'll dog you, do? I can tell you two movies that's three movies that scared the life out of me. So I didn't watch any Chucky movies. There was when I was in elementary school. There was a commercial for a Chucky film. That commercial scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I can't be afraid of Chucky. That I'm not gonna be afraid scared, of those. When I was three a kid, that commer- like I saw a commercial for it. That shit scared the shit. I don't know why it's it it, it has such a profound effect on me. But that commercial scared me. That was like three weeks, and then, uh, and then uh, for some reason, oh, I was at a uh, kid around the corner house, and uh. They would have a crawfish, so I went over, and I think his dad was watching Darkness Falls, and I saw, like, the last 30 minutes of that movie. That movie terrified me for whatever reason. Darkness Falls. Darkness Falls, where it was, like, uh, it was, the it was like, the person or creature was based off the Tooth Fairy. Oh, yeah. And only, yeah, like, yeah, darkness yeah. and would, like, murder people if it was, like, murder the shit out of just throw, the real Tooth Fairy. Throwing motherfuckers all over the place and shit to murder them, and, uh... I call like the last thirty minutes. That shit scared the shit out of me. I slept under a lamp for about a month, like straight up under a lamp. <laughs> like that hole was on all night. I slept with all the lights on. And then my dog, like that same day, we let my dog in, but it was dark, and she like ran up, ran up the stairs into my room. Terrified me. <laughs> she had me scared for a year, for like a month. And then for whatever reason, I don't understand it, but motherfucking blade too. That it makes no sense. The so, worst blade. So my so uh, it was it was a uh, uh, Thanksgiving after we moved here, and then my cousin came and like we rented it. My dad rented it for me and my cousin, and we started watching that. And like when they when they uh like since it was like the mutant vampires, they had like the extra lips where it, like open. All oh the way yeah, out. that shit got that shit, that shit me out too. scared the shit out of me. That shit freaked me out too. It, Freak me out And my cousin's like Bro this is not scary I was like bro I'm fucking scared I will never watch <laughs> that movie Ever again That shit freaked me out too That shit freaked me out well, anytime, Anything that opens up his mouth And it opens yeah. up his mouth more It always freaks me like, the fuck out Like up until that point I was like Oh these are just Weird mutant vampires And it did it to like That one vampire dude And was Attacked I was like Nope I'm out <laughs> <I can't laughs> watch this Oh my god That shit freaked me the fuck out <laughs> Oh my god uh, I don't, I, There's nothing really that's ever just made me Like there's nothing that I, I watched that just made me I don't like shit that jump scares me That's the only thing But it's not even so much that yeah, I'm scared I just don't like being Like startled. Yeah I hate that shit I don't like that shit It's not even so much as the startling It's the build up Cause you don't never know when the shit is coming. I'm the person who be like, I'm the I'm the talk a lot person. Like, yeah, some shit about to happen. Yeah, up oh, there it goes. Yeah, all right. All Try right. to keep yourself from getting too freaked out. Like, like, okay, no. he's walking down a dark hallway. Okay, he's going to be scared. And nothing's going to happen. Yeah. Okay, see nothing happened. I told you nothing happened. Okay, and now this time he's walking down the hallway. He's going to see some. Sh- okay, now he sees some shit. Yeah, that I don't like that shit. I think I'm too much of a of a of a. Asshole cynic, <laughs> so I can't enjoy it. I uh-uh. I I think I'm gonna watch The Shining today. I have not watched The Shining. No, I tell you what though, motherfucking Silence of the Lambs. I watched not a scary this. movie. It's not scary, but it weirded me. Cannibal Lecter weirded me out so much that he had me tripping for the rest of the night. 
<laughs> like I think but I don't know if my dad was here for for whatever reason the light was on downstairs and I my eyes kept going to that light. <laughs> <laughs> what you was something was gonna come out. I'm pretty sure you could have handled some no, old white was, man. It uh, was like three weeks ago and I was just like, Why the fuck is like this dude Hannibal Lecter is so creepy like he was so well played creepily in the movie yeah. that I was tripping and I knew I was tripping and I couldn't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably, that'd be the worst part. That's another reason why I don't like the jump scares because my mind goes to the scare before I actually get there. So I don't even really have a chance to 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 see what's coming at me before I'm already like, okay, I'm freaked the fuck out walking down this this long like playing video games, walking down this long ass hallway with multiple doors. I'm freaked the fuck out because I know something's coming. I just don't know what's coming, I, but I know it's gonna happen. And then when it doesn't happen, my mind is just like, <laughs> "You, you got scared for no reason." <laughs> it's like that's that's the worst part. Your heart starts to race, and you fucking you hands start shaking and shit. You're like, "Okay, nothing happened." And then like you're in, you're you're while playing the game, you're in fucking the light, and some shit comes out of the dark at you. It's like nah. That's not even jump scare. Something definitely was coming at me. Uh, that's that's probably why I've never played Resident Evil's because they heavy on each other. I only played one. That was with Brandon. <laughs> now, I think that was Resident Evil Three, where it's like a dude and a chick. Yeah, and it's like over the shoulder. But that was just like <laughs> that was just like oh no, oh yeah. no, yeah, <laughs> Dude, over just... the shoulder. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, that that was a fun game. I'm not with... gonna play to do it. That that was a fun game. Playing. That game was even like. I guess because that game wasn't as heavy on like the zombies, it was all, a lot of like infected people. Yeah, where like where it's like, oh, this is a regular person. All of a sudden, it explodes into like a giant fucking tentacle and shit. It's just like, all right, this this is just annoying, and we don't have that much ammo. And it's like, oh shit, now there's a giant guy with a giant uh, chainsaw, and I don't have any ammo. God damn it! <laughs> it's just like, okay, we gotta we gotta manage the shit out of this. That that was a new uh, Resident Evil that they put out. Basically, it was just like you didn't deal with zombies; you dealt mostly with just like weirdo people. Yeah, shit. but it was like it was just cra- like at one. I watched some of the scenes on YouTube and shit. At one point, the nigga, the antagonist, just comes out of nowhere, cuts the nigga's legs off. He cut his leg off, and the dude was just sitting there crawling. And then the dude touches him, and he just like magically has his leg again. I was just like, you know what? I'm not playing this game. <laughs> I'm not gonna. We, I'm not. It's not gonna be my life. That we need to do for a YouTube channel: just play uh, horror skin, games. Yeah, horror games in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> just yell. <laughs> It'd probably be mostly. Ah, oh, no, nah, I don't want to play this game anymore. Can we go? It's with us playing like Mario Kart nah, or some we, shit. No, nah, we got to power through it. That's what we need to do. No. <laughs> just playing s- supposedly scary guys. <laughs> In fucking oh, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. <laughs> Mortal Kombat Shaolin It's probably just anyone that's going back to Shaolin Monks. Just so I can be Kung Lao again. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, so, uh, I'm going to ruin the mood now. Motherfucking. So, it's come out about Jamie Foxx. Apparently, What's come out about Jamie Foxx? Apparently, he was, uh, with a woman, and, uh, I guess he was. Somehow his dick was out. They don't, you know, I don't know the details, but it, it came that his dick was out, and then she was <coughs> like, "Nah, I'm not feeling that or whatever." And then he, she says that he hit her with his penis, like he slapped her in the face with it, which begs, which uh, kind of. Kind of uh, what you call it? Uh, and he was married to Katie Holmes, which kind of makes you think about uh, the question of like, f- like the fluidity of consent, because it's like back in two thousand two. Because some people, um, first of all, I don't doubt that he did that, but that's just like a porn thing that people do, where you slap the woman with your dick. I think it's dumb and weird and I would never put my penis in a position because that is a very sensitive organ and uh, she could, a person could do a lot of damage that get a hold of your penis. <laughs> I can't even finish reading shit. <laughs> that's not that's not your that's not your foot or something where you can just like pop it with it. It's like she grab she grab a hold of that motherfucker with a strong grip. Yeah, he fucked. <laughs> 
<laughs> you do you getting folded. All this shit all this shit go out the window. Uh some people are like Not even the dick. If she grabs your balls. Oh no, there's there's no protection. Yeah, no. But some people are like, Oh, if she was down there by his penis, how she gonna say no? It's like, well, here's the thing, people. Consent. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Here's here's the thing. He slapped her in his face with his dick. Here's the thing, people. Who the fuck goes? Nah, she would do nothing. Slap. What the fuck? At any point, somebody can say no. Just for men and women. At any point, the person can say no. Y'all could be butt ass naked, and they could be like, you know what? I'm off this. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. That's 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 a hard. That's no. And you just stop there. Yeah. You, you go don't on about go your past life. it just yeah. because you are like. A lot of like you don't you haven't you don't deserve someone else's sexuality. If at any point they say no, you, you just have gotta to, stop. Yeah, you have to the respect. Situation's that. over with. I mean, especially like the thing about celebrities have, too is like and like a chick can have a whole their whole your whole dick in their mouth. They're like, hey, no. I'm off of this. That's just, just no. Call him a cab and let him go home. Like what the you fuck? You just have All to right, stop. Well, you gotta get out of here then. It's nothing wrong with saying you gotta leave, like, cause if you come for one thing and she comes for another thing, then like we have, you have to accept that you haven't earned anything from them. Like, yeah, that, all right then. And you have to be able to take no for the answer. Yeah. There's no okay. She said no, so I have to convince them, or or they said no, so I have to. Uh, this is now a, a hurdle that I have to get over. Like no, it's just. You just need to accept no as an answer. That's what we need to be taught. To actually accept no for the answer and be Move okay. On. Yeah. There's a lot of people who think no just means no, not yet. No, no, just, no means no. No at any point is st- is a hard stop. Just he should have just wrapped it up and we're like, all right, like, well, get out. I'm get out. Yeah, I'm done. If you, this is not what you came for, then that's cool. But at the same time, you're not. We're not gonna hang out. You're not gonna sit on my couch. You're not gonna just watch movies and have a good time. That's not what the fuck I chose you for. Which at the same time, that's also what you gotta what what some people gotta see too is just like even like especially like they, the most recent thing that happened with Future, where old girl was like, oh, I thought he was gonna hang out at the studio. You think a nigga flying you out or? Yeah, see, that's different because she. That's different because like. Okay, this is not an indictment of Jamie Foxx at all, but it's no. like I have no idea what actually happened, and nah, see what happened no, was for Jamie Foxx. It's just oh like, yeah, just like like I can only take what either person said. I don't doubt that he probably did like hit her in the face with dick. I don't know if that's lawsuit worthy, especially almost twenty years later. I don't know. There's just not enough to go on. I mean, if she said no and he didn't respect her no, then that's shame on you. If it was just like, nah, and then she was annoyed that he did that. It's just like, whatever. Future, the future shit. Come on, shorty. If a nigga's flying you out and you're not paying for the hotel. She paid for the, she paid for the hotel. No, no, he paid for the hotel. She, she didn't pay for the flight. No, he, yeah. he didn't pay for the flight. No, uh, she, she paid for her flight. She paid for the flight with the thought that she was gonna get back. Yeah, he the the, the what bitch. she said that he says that he's gonna give her a thousand. She said he's yeah. gonna pay back a thousand percent. A thousand percent. So she, she paid, thought she was gonna give fifty five thousand. Yeah, and she paid five hundred dollars for a flight. She was gonna get five thousand back. But you thought he was flying you out to hang out with you for fifty five thousand dollars, fifty five hundred dollars. I, mean, I I didn't she did she say that I didn't read. I just heard Dorm Tame talk about. It. Did she say that she was, she had hung out with him in the studio in before? the studio before? Yeah, but what the fuck. I don't know what your expectations were. Her expectations were and way he, too high. And he was like, "Are you sure she hung out with him, or are you sure she wasn't just in the mix?" Like you and he just, started talking to you her. You was just there, and he was there. Yeah, and he liked how you look, so he was just like, oh, "Let me holler at her." Like, it's certain shit you got to be honest with yourself you, about. Yeah, you got to temper your expectations. If, if Rihanna hits me up on Instagram talking about come through to the fucking hotel at. Fucking eleven o'clock at night. You think we just gonna hang out and watch Netflix movies? Oh no, I'm not going. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. No, not Rihanna. Unless she has beef patties. <laughs> she probably does. Not the frozen joint. She probably makes some hoes fresh in her hotel room and shit. 
I mean, I'll go for those. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, but I'm just saying, like, she she already know what this. You got to know what you're getting she's into, and that's people. nothing against the victims and shit. Once, like I said, once you said, once you say no, no is is no is is a fucking rule. No means no. I like, know no convinced me, but also at the same time, if a nigga hits you up talking about. <laughs> Come, let me fly you the fuck out. <laughs> let me fly you out to a hotel. To a hotel, and I'll meet you there. It's like you should probably, you should probably be aware that dudes do that just for sex. Just for sex, he's trying to fuck you, man. Should be a little more uh, aware and mature about it. And you was not finna get no fifty five hundred dollars. And then it's like, what do you stand to gain? <laughs> yeah. What do you stand to gain? <laughs> this shit that pissed me off for, the most for putting that star. I mean, I mean, you prove. I mean, what you you're showing us that he's a scumbag. We already know future's trash. I I hundred percent think that he's trash. <laughs> Him dealing with Sierra proved that this nigga's garbage. The fuck. So I have no like you. You basically reconfirmed something that I already assumed didn't know and have a very strong opinion about, Bruh <laughs> Oh my god I really want some pancakes I wonder if I can make some That's how little I care about you in the future <laughs> That's so weird Like you you, Like okay Say he does fly you the fuck out Why? What would be his incentive to give you $5,500 To see you To hang out with you at the studio what would be his incentive to give you fifty five? Because she kept emphasizing on the fact that you're supposed to give her fifty five hundred dollars. She paid. She only paid five hundred dollars for a hotel for her for her flight out. Her hotel was pretty much covered for that day. But like, well, what, it was only one day. It was only one day. So she probably had to like pay to change the flight, too. I know. I think she got another hotel. What would be his incentive? What would be his purpose of paying you fifty five hundred dollars? Well, I don't know because I have never flown somebody out. I have never, never been will. flown out. The only uh, person I would fly out is my girl if she goes somewhere else and she needs to come back. That's I it. mean, I have. Or if I'm somewhere else, I want her to come with me. I have given a chick gas money. I've given my girl gas money. Uh, I've helped out some friends along the way, but other than that, no. I mean. $30 to a homegirl who needs it for her kid. That's nah, it. I ain't giving nobody $30. Fuck y'all. Including <laughs> you. <laughs> Fuck you, ho. <laughs> you a bitch. It's maximum of 15 But yeah. Anyways. I'll just buy. I'll, 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 I'll pick up some food for your ass. I'll, yeah. I'll feed you. Yeah. I'll feed somebody, but. I'm not feeding. I'm not flying. Fucking friend on the Instagram. I'm not a, flying a stranger out. That I met in the studio. No. She keeps making it seem like he hit her up to come with him to the studio. No, it seems like he met you in the studio. I don't see how she expected something else to happen. Other than, other than him being an asshole, be like, oh, you're not fucking? Yeah, I'm, I'm not paying for the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and get your key shut down. Yeah. He only Ooh, played yeah. for one night. He probably She probably paid for longer. He switched it to one night just to get her out of there. It was like, nah, you're not going to lay up and have a good time. Nah, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. She not putting out, moving on. Yeah. Of course. Future, be like Future. Future does not play games. It's <laughs> like, she, it's misogynistic as fuck, but at least he's honest about the shit. <laughs> I mean, well, he didn't He didn't try to do nothing with you. He just said, you're not, you not fucking. I'm just, not a fan of Future. Look like you're going back home. <laughs> All I know is the moral of the story is Fuck Tom Felton, aka yeah. Draco. <laughs> Why do you keep is it, is that the title? Is the next title for this episode? Is Fuck Tom Felton? No, nah, it's not gonna be that obvious. Oh, uh-uh. it's gonna be Fuck Draco, Draco Malfoy. Fuck Draco Malfoy. Fuck all the Malfoys. Fuck all you Malfoys. You are your nation, motherfuckers. Oh my god, Lucius, you a bitch. The nigga name was Lucius. Drake, Draco, you really a bitch. You could trade him with uh, Terrence Howard and probably be still still be the same movie. Now I want to see Terrence Howard as <laughs> Lucius <laughs> Malfoy. Like, like, hey man, Draco, hey, man, man. man, Draco, man, I told Lucy, you not man. to touch anything. This motherfucker shot, man. Hey man, hey man, is like, that is that the are, party are you, kid over there? Hey man, I you, knew your daddy, man. Are you serious, my nigga? Like, <laughs> y'all just gonna let this Harry Potter kid get whatever get, get away? Come with on, man. man. 
Y'all tripping, man. I'm hey, going to have the whole council write you up and have you kicked out, man. I, hey, I'm, man. Serious I'm serious about this man. shit, my nigga. Hey, man. Where my, where my wand at, man? The, well, you need to... Mouth on, man. Come on. You know what you need to do? You, you need to write that screenplay. <laughs> my you need to write that... Uh, you need to write that skit. <laughs> I'm just going to rewrite all of Harry Potter and just put Terrence Howard... Every time Lucius Malfoy shows up, just put Terrence Howard's voice in there and everything. Oh, did I tell you about uh, a play that somebody saw? It's I think it's called... It was in New York. It's called Puff, where it's... Uh, the Harry Potter story is up from the perspective of peop of uh the Hufflepuffs. And so, and so I like, gotta see that they, shit. They don't they can't actually say the names, but they allude to it heavily. It's like this kid just how the like why the fuck does shit that can kill somebody keep happening to him at the school? Like are you are we sure the school is safe? <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely Hufflepuff. Or it's like or it's like this guy done did some shit. Now we got to have motherfucking dementors all over this bitch. Why can't he just just, just chill, just go to class and stop <laughs> causing trouble where motherfuckers nearly die and shit? I want to see the I want to see the uh the uh Harry Potter story told from the from the point of view of a Ravenclaw. Cuz you know they're, they're supposed to be the smart the smart house in the uh <laughs> the smartest of the house in the fucking in the school and shit. So I'm pretty sure they figured out all the shit before Harry and them figured it all out. They just didn't act fast enough to get it done. That's what I assume. Like, Gryffindor just bounces around into shit and they sort of solve shit. The smartest person is Hermione, who probably should have been a Ravenclaw, except she's like, she's more athletic. <laughs> so they uh, put her in. She's brave and bold. Yeah. She's a genius. Put it, Ravenclaw is just like Oh yeah I figured that shit out a week ago How come you didn't tell anybody Well you know I didn't want to interrupt It looked like, looked like they were having fun You know I really want to see that play now that I think about it Since I've been reading the books yeah. uh, They were a part of class of 98 Same as Harris his pal So the, I, basically the story is through the 90s I don't yeah. know shoulder hurts Well uh do you have anything else? Uh, I want you guys to know that uh, I've decided that I'm going to enlist in Space Force. So if you don't hear from me <laughs> for a few months, I'm going to go. I'm going to be one of the few in the brave in space. What the hell is Space Force? Look it up right now. Is that a real thing? Look it up that right sounds, now. That sounds like a space camp shit. No, look it up right now. Space Force. Uh, Trump Space Force and Air Force will be separate but equal. Really? <laughs> Department of Defense to immediately begin process of establishing <laughs> Space Force as sixth military branch. <laughs> I'm going to be a part of the Space Force, bro. I'm going, I'm going to become Master Chief. <laughs> or this establishment of Space Force as six military branch. You know you're not going to be Master Chief. I can't be Master Chief. You no. Know, you know, a, a lot of people had to die before the Spartan program worked. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They're a bunch of orphan kids, aren't they? That they just snatched. Yeah. <laughs> the military's terrible. <laughs> and they experimented with the, uh, the super soldier stuff. Before him, they were the ones that survived. Survived, yeah. So yeah, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely too old for that shit to go on me. Well, shit, if if fucking what's his face can. I mean, you could, you could be an ODST and die. Those were regular dudes, ODSTs. They oh, were they Spartans. were. Nah, I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna wash the ship or something. I'm gonna be a janitor. Okay, so you're just gonna die when the ship blows up. Basically, nah, I'm gonna be a janitor for like the. Pacific, wherever wherever the the escape pods is at, that's where I'm gonna be a janitor at. Do you think they gotta have like special Air Force like space training? Well, they said separate but equal. <laughs> but like, it's, it's gonna be separate for, but equal from the Air Force. <laughs> you imagine being a, getting this motherfucker has a great announcement. Oh, I wonder what Trump's gonna announce. We're gonna start the space. I'm, gonna, Force. I'm instructing the DOJ to immediately start. On the creation of the Space Force, I was just like, you know oh what happened? God. You know what happened? Trump, uh, Trump 
got a, a a new Trump got somebody Hulu password, and he's been watching Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> he's been watching fucking. He's been watching Cowboy Bebop. He thinks we need a space uh, a space force. We need a space military. Who are we fighting? He's been watching. Uh, he's been watching. Uh, G Gundam. No. Nah. Yeah, he's been watching G Gundam. He's preparing for a Neo USA for our own Gundams. This nigga, if there's aliens, he pretty much just gave away. He's he's been watching. Uh, he's been watching. Uh, we haven't even mastered interplanetary travel yet. You want to make a whole new branch of the military? He's been watching. Uh, been watching. Uh, uh, Neo Genesis and Megalion. He's like, we gotta prepare for these giant motherfuckers. This nigga is the worst president ever, dog. He is hands down the worst president. I read an article where they said this nigga keeps ripping up like documents for the president, and you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to archive everything the president does. He keeps ripping up papers, so they had to hire motherfuckers to come behind him and put the papers back together. But then he fired him, so now his staff just has to do it. This is our president. They told him, hey, don't rip up papers. You can't do that. This is why somebody should have killed Draco Malfoy years ago. This is what does happened. he have to do with this? <laughs> and this is, is, if you like what you hear, please be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. This We're now why, on YouTube. This is why Draco Malfoy. We're now on YouTube. This is why Draco Malfoy shouldn't have lived SoundCloud. past book four. <laughs> We're out on YouTube, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio. Then, you can't kill Tom Felder. That, that nigga made it through eight Walter. movies. Walter. That nigga made it through eight Walt. movies. He shouldn't have made it through Walt. three. Okay. Look at me. You can't kill Tom Felder. Draco Malfoy is not real. He's going to die. You can't kill Tom Felder. Once, Please once leave he, Tom Felder once alone. He's dead, all our problems <laughs> will resolve no, themselves. It does not work like that. That's the reason all our problems is No, you can't kill Draco Malfoy. If you like think, what you listen to, about it. please. No, I don't want to think about it. Only half the things that nearly be... killed Harry Potter every school year. <laughs> Were actually caused by Voldemort. The rest were just Draco Malfoy and the Malfoy family doing shit that further led down to Harry nearly dying every single school year, only being 11, 12, and 13 years old. <laughs> if you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, Stitcher Radio, SoundCloud, Google Play Store, iTunes. Uh, be sure to look at our Patreon. If you feel like donating to us, we, we greatly appreciate you. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Space City Bros. Pod, let me see. Yeah, it's just always, Space City Bros. Space City Bros. At Space City Bros. And on Twitter at Space City Brothers. You know, uh, Instagram. On Instagram at Space City Brothers and on Twitter at Space City Bros. What's this? Episode 19? So I think for 20, we might do something special. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So no, that twenty just go fuck yourself on episode twenty. Uh, we'll think about it. We'll talk about it. Yeah, tweet at us, holler at us. Yeah, like, comment, email share, us at email us. us. If you if you want to also kill Draco Malfoy, <laughs> no, 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 so we can figure out how, <laughs> no. how I'm gonna get this nigga touched. <laughs> oh my god. Long live the Space Force. Look how I run it up. Look how I run it up. Look how I'm coming up. I wish you was one of us. See how that money come? Paper cut fingers from counting that money up. Praying emojis. The blessings keep coming. I know I can't have enough. Never on E. Took off on haters. There's no need to gas me up. I'm patting my lead. I'm too far ahead and there's no way you catching up.